The woman suddenly lost control, and her feet floated above the ground. Despite her desperate struggles, her feet remained suspended, unable to touch the floor. In a panic, her husband quickly called the firefighters, who tried their best to pull her down. Angela was in distress, unable to comprehend the situation or know what to do. Her husband held her hand to comfort her, but the rescue ultimately ended in failure. Strangely, several hours later, Angela's suspended height increased. Doctors had never seen such symptoms before, and a physical examination revealed no abnormalities. To investigate further, they decided to extract Angela's blood for analysis. However, days passed, and the doctors couldn't identify the cause. They were baffled by the phenomenon and had no way to treat it. Angela continued to rise, and she couldn't move horizontally either. Suspended in the air, she could do nothing, not even lie down to sleep. When she needed to use the bathroom, her husband would bring a toilet for her to use. Her daughter, who once found her annoying and ignored her, now surrounded her, serving her tea and water. Friends and family came to visit and keep her company. Although her condition was strange, she felt an unprecedented sense of being cared for. Experts clocked in daily for various analysis, but there was no progress. As time passed, Angela's head was nearing the ceiling. Without a solution, her life was in danger. The experts returned, and the analysis report was finally out. She would continue to ascend at a steady accelerating rate, and there was no external force that could stop it. Based on the current situation, in around 70 days, she would ascend to an altitude of 36-15 meters. By then, she would need sufficient food and a way to stay warm. In the following months, she would rise to 100 kilometers, where the air became increasingly thin, requiring oxygen tanks to breathe, until she crossed the KRMMI, the boundary into outer space, where she would be unable to survive. This was, undoubtedly, a death sentence for Angela. The current task was to create a hole in the ceiling, trying to make her as comfortable as possible. Devastated, the husband had no choice but to follow the expert's advice and dismantle the ceiling. Angela felt scared, calling out her daughter's name repeatedly. Unable to accept the reality, her daughter turned on the tap to drown out her mother's voice and wash dishes to ease her emotions. Eventually, the husband successfully cut a hole. This scene is truly bizarre. The woman is suspended in the air, and her husband is holding her hand. Her head is just reaching into her daughter's room, keeping a constant gaze on her, faced with her mother's surveillance. The daughter feels uncomfortable all over, and the atmosphere gradually becomes awkward. When the urge to urinate strikes, Angela has no choice but to seek help from her daughter. The daughter impatiently puts down her pen, comes downstairs with a toilet for Angela to use. Unable to control her emotions any longer, the daughter expresses that it's impossible to focus on studying under these circumstances and suggests taking a few days off to take care of her mother. However, the mother strongly opposes, angrily stating that under no circumstances can she miss the exams. Feeling extremely guilty, Angela has disrupted her daughter's life, as she cannot continue to impact her education. Before long, Angela has ascended to the third floor. Today is the couple's wedding anniversary, and she intentionally dresses up in a gown, waiting for her husband to return from work. As he enters with a wine glass, Angela is an angel in his eyes. He stands on a chair, pours champagne, and toasts to celebrate. The time they have left together is in countdown, and they must cherish it. The husband is reluctant to let his wife go, and decides to tie her feet with a rope to prevent her from rising further. When the daughter returns home and finds the rope connected to the ground, she looks up to see her mother in excruciating pain. Being pulled forcefully, hurrying upstairs to investigate, she sees her father crouching in a corner, attempting to keep his wife tethered to the ground. The daughter rushes into the kitchen, grabs a fruit knife, intending to free her mother. The father intervenes quickly. The more the rope is pulled, the tighter it becomes until the sound of bones breaking is heard. Angela's ankle is dislocated, and witnessing this, the husband has no choice but to cut the rope. He can't keep his wife for long, and soon Angela reaches the rooftop, and the family can only meet her with an elevator. In a short while, she will reach a high beyond reach. The husband prepares ample water, food, and oxygen cylinders for her. The daughter gives her favorite portable radio to help pass the boring time. Angela hugs her daughter for a final farewell. During this time, the husband stands silently by, not uttering a word, turning his head to look into the distance. As the elevator slowly descends, the husband can't hold back any longer and grabs his wife's legs, attempting to pull her down. Angela, holding back tears, tries to comfort him. In a blink of an eye, several downseen days pass, and she is now beneath the clouds. The family can't use the elevator to meet her anymore, and she has to pass the time with riddles. Everything on the ground seems tiny to her. A woman gets a strange illness, unaffected by gravity, her feet hovering higher and higher. Now, she can't only see her home through a telescope, the intense sunlight making it hard to open her eyes. Angel opens her backpack, finding only one cookie left. Hungry but thinking of her daughter, she hesitates before finally putting it in her mouth. Missing her daughter terribly, she decides to call her. Angel has a lot to say, throwing out more than 10 questions in a row. What did you have for dinner? How did you do on your exams? Getting along well with dad? 
Instead of complaining about her own situation, she cares about the lives of the father and daughter. Hearing this, the daughter feels uneasy, holding back tears to keep her mother from noticing, and quickly makes an excuse to hang up. Angel takes out her headphones to ease her mood, but they slip and fall. She completely breaks down, screaming and struggling in there, not understanding why this is happening to her. Just then, a flock of birds flies towards her, terrifying Angel. However, the birds don't attack her. It seems they see her as one of them, surrounding her. Anna, witnessing this for the first time, smiles brightly and immerses herself in the scene. In the late night, heavy rain falls from the sky, soaking her clothes. Her husband looks at the sky, praying for his wife, even though she has been gone for a long time. He still refuses to patch up the hole. After this night, Angel floats above the clouds, near the Carmen line, where the air becomes thinner. She knows her time is running out, and after a moment of hesitation, she takes off her breathing mask, deciding to make one last call to her family. The phone rings, and her husband, waking from a deep sleep, hurriedly answers, afraid to miss Angel's call. The daughter hears the commotion and rushes upstairs, the three of them expressing their longing for each other. Angel comforts her daughter, telling her not to stress too much about exams. Even if she doesn't pass, it's okay. Whatever the daughter does, Angel takes pride in her and asks her not to blame her father. He has worked hard to maintain the family. The father and daughter look at each other, all emotions expressed in their eyes. The husband orders Angel to quickly put on the oxygen mask, but she ignores him, telling the father and daughter not to approach the hole. The next moment, Angel's backpack drops, and she says she no longer needs these things, instructing her husband to patch up the hole. As the sun rises, her speed increases. Angel crosses the Carmen line, disappearing from this world. The father and daughter embrace and weep. This short film plot is titled, The Carmen Line. The Carmen Line symbolizes Angel's life and death line, perhaps metaphorically indicating her terminal illness, gradually moving towards death. Family members surround her, taking care of her, breaking the roof to make her more comfortable. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like. See you in the next episode.